Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I will be testing the Super Granulation Watercolor Paints by Schminke. And I got this cute little set for Christmas, so it's about time that I try them out. And this is the Galaxy set, which comes with five tubes in Galaxy Pink, Galaxy Violet, Galaxy Blue, Galaxy Brown and Galaxy Black. And oh my god, look! how tiny these tubes are. They are basically the size of my pinkies, so yeah, but since it's watercolor, I guess they will last a long time. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more art content. And now let's get swatching. So for painting and swatching, I'll be using the Canson XL watercolor paper pad in A4 size. I'm actually a little scared that I'll press too hard and waste paint, but let's hope for the best. I'll start with Galaxy Black, so that should be enough. So first impressions. These two are very, very vibrant, so let's see what they look like on paper. We will start with Galaxy Black. So I never had Schminke paints before, so I have no comparison to other Schminke paints. However, I already like it because the color looks super cool and you can see actually the granulation effect already like down here so I'm very curious to see what it looks like when it's dry So I have swatched all the colors, they are not completely dry yet. However, I want to say that we already have a winner. Galaxy Violet is such a pretty color. I'm so impressed right now. This is great. I love it. This is my favorite. And I have a theory because if you look at the colors, there's a different amount of granulation. Like here we have barely anything. And this one has a lot of the granulation effect to it. So I guess the more water you add, the more granulation you will get. I don't know if that makes sense. However, for my first impression, I would say this could be a possibility. But I will be testing this in depth, of course. So let's see what beautiful shades we can create by mixing the colors. So the Galaxy Violet in combination with the Galaxy Blue just looks so amazing. I'm speechless and I just want to stare at it for forever. <laughs> I don't know, it's so pretty. I have never seen any watercolor like this, so I am completely over the moon and I definitely understand what the hype is all about, so wow. The paint has dried and I'm so happy with how these swatches came out. I mean, can we take a moment to appreciate how pretty these gradients are? These two are definitely my favorite gradients. I mean, look at the amount of granulation. It looks so, so cool. I'm really excited to start painting, so let's go. When painting, I wanted to focus on trying to make everything look 
not smooth especially when painting the sky because generally making the sky look smooth is what I like to do however this time I wanted the sky to kind of have movement and let the granulation paint do its thing so if you think the sky looks messy well yeah that's what I was aiming for I think by now I can confirm my theory of more water gets you more of the granulation effect and I suppose that's because the pigments can move easier when there's a lot of water. Also in general it's pretty easy to move the pigment where you want it to be. At least it's a lot easier than with the Windsor & Newton watercolor paints I'm used to. However, I think comparing these paints is difficult in a way that the Windsor & Newton paints I use are student grade paints and the Schmincke Horadam paints are artist grade paints. So that's kind of like comparing apples with oranges. Even if comparing them doesn't make a 100% sense, using them in one painting is definitely possible and doesn't look too bad as you will see in the second painting where I used white watercolor from my Windsor & Newton set. By the way, I painted these two scenes without reference, which is still super difficult for me, but I'm working on it and taking this into account, the paintings turned out quite good, I think. Since I haven't really developed an art style yet, I like to experiment with different styles and find out what I like and what I don't like. And maybe someday in the future I'll have a consistent art style, even though I highly doubt that because I'm way too curious to just focus on one style and neglect all the other possibilities. Coming back to the paints, I am really impressed and I would absolutely recommend them. Even though they come in at a higher price point with around 35 for the set, depending on where you shop you can also get them a little cheaper. But I think it's worth it because they will last you a long time since it's watercolor and they are super pigmented. I'm actually thinking about getting watercolors and tubes now because I kind of liked it. Getting super saturated colors is pretty easy with them in comparison to working with watercolor pens. And last but not least, the color selection and granulation of the set is just amazing. These are the prettiest watercolors I have ever seen, so Schminke did a great job here. These are my finished paintings and I am pretty happy with how they turn out. I will definitely make more videos with these paints in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the super granulation paints and if you have tried them yet. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. See you next time. Bye!